Hey guys, it's Typical Cycle Repair. Today we're going to be working on a uh, tiller. And this right here is a uh, Poland Pro. This one is a 6.5 horsepower. Alright, this is a Poland Pro. This was dropped off uh, to have the carburetor rebuilt. Alright, because it's been sitting. This little breather right here had a mud dauber nest in it. I had to clean that out. So uh, that goes up into there. But I'll take care of all that. That's what we're going to do today. But I wanted to give you guys a quick update of the um, the GL that I was working on. You can see it in the background here. Uh, I'm waiting on parts. The um, I ordered up a couple parts. It got back ordered. I don't know what's going on. So that's going to take a little time. I need the seat because the uh, body line that I want to that I want to do on it. You know the the angle of the tank and everything. You don't want to just go winging that. So I want to wait till the seat gets here so I can um, go ahead and put everything on there and kind of mock it up. And I uh, finished cutting the frame and getting everything, you know, cleaned up and cut up so that I can get it sent off to the powder carter. But uh, until I get those parts, it's just going to have to be on hold for now. So let's go ahead and work on this um, tiller and get this carburetor all cleaned up. I guess so the first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and drain this uh, gas tank. You, you know, never trust gas that comes to these things you're working on because people will tell you it's got stable and everything. Well, stable is only good for... Um, protecting fuel up to six months, at which point you're supposed to drain it and refill it with fresh gas. So uh, who knows how long this has been sitting there, but it's been a while. So I'm going to go ahead and drain this out of here. I'm going to take off this um, air filter, take a look at what we got here. Whenever these things sit, you got to be cautious about rodents and stuff, making a mess in there. That looks pretty good. That looks like it's been replaced. Yeah, that's clean. All right. Yeah, that's good right there. So we're good on the air filter. This should be up in there like that okay so um, let me go ahead and pull this carburetor off and uh, we're gonna get to it all right guys so I picked up some new parts I got the, um, the flow pole gasket right here all right this is uh, this is this is the one for this particular model and then I got the uh, needle and seat which is what you guys if you can get these you might as well get it load up with a couple of them if you can be working on these all right, and basically that's going to come with a um, new a new seat. All right, you see that right there, and a new and a new needle. So what I do to get them out, all right, see it's all the way down in there. It's in this hole right here. I use this little um, hook that I made just out of um, wire, and I'm just going to get it down into there, hook it. And just pull it up. Sometimes they're stuck in there good. Like this one's been in there a while. It's coming up. I'm just going to try to use a straight pick, see if I can get it out of there. It gets stuck into the bottom from the fuel and from the swelling. It's bigger than it should be. Got to get it out of there without messing anything up. There we go. All right. All right, and there it is. And this has to go in a certain way. It has a it has a smooth side, and then a side that has some ridges on it. You can see it more in this one. It's got the ridges right there. That has to go towards your needle and this goes the flat side goes straight in so the way that I put these in is I use a um, okay I take the wire so that it sits on the wire so it doesn't rotate when you're putting it in there I put the wire through it all right so it's just sitting on there like that clean out the surface And you can use like a, a little grease or a little bit of oil to help kind of slide it in. I'm just using some two-stroke oil just to help slip it into place. Just just helps out the whole process. Just putting a little bit in there. And stick the needle down into the hole so that it doesn't turn on me. Drop it in there. I'm just going to shake it. Now you can see it's sitting in there. I'm just going to shake it down into the hole until it drops down. 
All right, now when it's sitting in there flat, I'm going to get a, yeah, a punch. All right, so it's just a flat tip punch right here, so I can just push it down in there. push it down into place. Right. I don't know if you can see it down in there, but now it's sitting in place. Okay, and that's all you got to do for that. So now you want to make sure that it's sitting all the way in. So the best way to do that is just put the uh, your new needle onto your float. Drop it into place. Put the pin back on. Alright, so we got the float pivot pin back in place here as soon as I get it. There we go. Alright, and look at our float height. You can see now that the float height is level again where it should be. Alright, that's what we're looking for. Okay, if it's sitting down, right, because remember this is upside down, so this is when it when it fills in the float bowl, it fills up to there. That's where we want it to be. If it's all the way down here or down like that, anywhere in that area, all right, it's not going to get enough fuel, and I got another machine out here that I'm going to work on. I'm going to show you guys how it acts when it uh, when this is all the way down like that because it can't move up the all the way up out of the way because the uh, seat's swollen. All right, but um, that's what we're looking at right there. That's the float height. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back together and put it back on the machine. The new uh, the new gasket here for the bowl. Put this in place. The ball on. All right, remember the jet on the bottom here. The the fuel needs to be clear. You got to see all through in there, nice and clear through the holes. There's also a gasket. If yours is bad, replace it. It's always good to replace it if you got it. They didn't have them in stock, so this one should be fine. All right, screw it back into place. All right, we're all buttoned up. I'm going to go mount it back on the machine. All right, putting it together is pretty simple. You got the linkage up here, got the spring. Linkage there, manifold. Two 10 millimeter bolts. Intake. Intake has the collars. They're always going to have collars on them so they don't crack the plastic. Make sure all your linkage is good. Got a new spark plug to put in it. This is mounted up. Um, just remember the gas tank. This had a bunch of garbage in it and leaves and all kinds of crap so make sure you get that all cleaned out flush out real good blow it out compressed there make sure your tank is clean don't put you know garbage right back into the line you just fixed okay so um let me mount this uh tank back on put a new uh spark plug in it hook up the fuel line and we'll start it up see how it does This, this carburetor has no adjustments on it, so um, and it looks like it, it had an engine swap because the throttle that's up here is not connected to it anymore, so it seems to be running fine. All right, guys, so there you have it. There was the uh, carb rebuild on that tiller. It is ready to go. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, share, and hit the bell for further notifications. Next up's a pressure washer. Stay tuned, guys. Until next time, it's Tepco Cycle Repair.